that females uh, in the automotive industry have uh, been stereotyped to dress a certain way, act a certain way around vehicles. And uh, there's really not a lot out there in terms of providing an opportunity of uh, a different type of role models, positive role models, where it's, uh, it really fosters a growing community and a grassroots approach to you know, uh, encouraging women to um, be empowered through motorsports. It can be fun, it can be educational, and at the end of the day, it's, it's safe. And uh, I think that's something that everybody should get their hands on at one point or another, whether or not they become a racer. Okay. Can you explain oversteer and understeer in terms of when you're driving a regular car? Because not everybody who's on V-Lane drives go kart. But right. in terms of a regular car, you want to branch that out a bit? Yep. Oversteer and understeer happens even every day, even on uh, everyday roads, even more so um, when you are driving, let's say, in a uh, winter conditions. Mm -hmm. Okay, because uh, the coefficient of friction, or i.e. the grip, the traction, um, you have a lot less of it. Okay, so, um, so what happens is, um, understeer. Uh, let's say in the wintertime you're driving home through your subdivision on your street. You make a right-hand turn, turn onto your street you've always turned on before. But you turn the car, but you don't turn. The car doesn't want to turn, it just keeps sliding forward. You've essentially lost all grip at the front wheels. That's understeer. So it's pushing. So what do you have to do to alleviate an understeering condition? Well, you turn too much and you're probably getting a little too much gas, so you gotta let off the gas and um, unwind the wheel a bit. And that'll allow the tires to regain some grip, some traction, which means you typically have to drive to that corner maybe a little slower next time. Um, Oversteer is uh, what happens when you lose grip at the rear of the vehicle, at the rear tires. So you might be coming around same set corner and you get on the gas a little too hard. Um, and this uh, happens more so in a uh, rear wheel drive vehicle where the power is being transferred to the rear tires. So you'll get on the gas, you'll spin up the tires, they've lost traction in the rear, and then you'll spin out. You'll do a 180. Okay, that's oversteer. How do you alleviate the oversteer? Don't get on the gas so hard. These are the basics. There's other there's other dynamics to initiate under and oversteer, but those are pretty much the basics that everyone will always encounter, especially in uh, slippery conditions. If you're driving a real wheel drive car, like I said, you come around the corner too much gas, oversteers, or if you're driving any kind of car, coming into a corner and steering too much, it'll, it'll, it'll push. So there's different ways to eliminate um, both problems. do you run cl clinics like this today? Uh, they're run on a monthly basis between the months of September to May. Um, and during that time, these are the clinics at Gar Grand Prix Cartways. What we're trying to do for this year is that we want to increase these clinics and sort of have a progression where we move the girls who are at these clinics to their vehicles at Al Islam School, okay. and then from there to their vehicles at a track school. So basically, I want this to be sort of like a circulating nature of, you know, racers and people who are just, you know, enthusiasts to always be on the track, getting some time and going out and having a lot of fun.